Hey everyone, it's Clint. I am a comic book writer, but I also have an opinion and the wrong opinions for that matter. So I, this is kind of a political video, fair warning. I wanna talk about some of the craziness that has gone on surrounding Trump and getting COVID and what they think it's really about and what it's really about. Ultimately, the media is, they're doing exactly what they did. They, they do every time, but especially four years ago, uh, in helping Trump get elected without knowing it. They're willing partners in this. Uh, and I'll show you exactly why. Uh, the White House is spreading virus and lies. Before we get into that though, Fatal is my comic book. It's on Indiegogo right now. And uh, you know, sometimes I have political opinions. This book is free of politics. It's just some of the greatest art that you're gonna see anywhere in comic books. And the story I am very, very proud of, it's about a guy named Flynn that travels from planet to planet to exterminate alien invasions. And uh, it really, really a lot of fun, and I think you'll enjoy it. So check it out, back it, it's in the link in the description below. There's only 11 days left. All right, so getting into <clears throat> the, the story, it's been really interesting as you see people sort of struggling to find what the correct narrative is. I've heard just about everything. Uh, initially, it was dancing on the graves of the innocent. Uh, to start things out off with, people were just so excited at the prospect of Trump dying of COVID. Uh, believe it or not, uh, no matter, how, gosh, how, uh, how caring people are. Uh, it started out with that. It moved to some insane conspiracy theories. And you sort of see as the media and as uh, just many activists sort of settle into what are going to be the prevailing uh, narratives going forward through the next length of the campaign. Uh, so here's one floated. And basically, there's the one angle that uh, Trump is being irresponsible with COVID. Therefore, he's spreading it around to everybody. Uh, therefore, he's not fit to be the president. Uh, so that's one. So here's one example. With President Trump hospitalized for COVID-19 at Walter Reed Medical Center, officials spent the weekend sowing doubt about his condition instead of offering clarity and reassurance. They have not been very clear about the timeline of anything. Now, I don't know what the rules are. I know that there are HIPAA laws and that you, uh, you don't have to give people your personal uh, medical information. Uh, at the same time, there's generally a standard uh, that if you're the president of the country, you're pretty open with at least some things, though there are awful lot of exceptions to this. Uh, the biggest one that I think of is, uh, you know, we've had a president that had polio and that was hidden from everybody. The fact that he used a wheelchair, that's right, uh, Roosevelt. And so uh, how is this much different? I guess because it's 2020, that's the big difference. Uh, so I, I don't know. So th this is one angle. Doctors and members of the White House staff provided conflicting information about the timeline and progression of the president's illness, making a bad situation even worse. Now, if we follow uh, this to the bad situation even worse, it goes back to another one of their earlier articles that says Trump's COVID case could be mild or fatal. Here are the signs to watch for. So what would make it worse? I, I don't know. It's not going <laughs> to... It might be mild, it might be mild, or it could be fatal. One of the two. Th that that's all that it is. Uh, I can't I cannot let this segue go though. Fatal. Fatal's on Indiegogo. Check it out right now. It's the link in the description below. Uh, of course, it could be mild or fatal. This is this is absurd, uh, but it, it does get people uh, very very excited. So here's another one of the thoughts. This is coming from. Uh, outstanding news organization known as Vox. Our misinformation problem is about to get much, much worse. Uh, well, what? Why? All of a sudden you care about the man's health. This, that's interesting. Uh, there, there have been no questions <laughs> about Biden's health, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't understand that. All right, so uh, here we go. This is the second paragraph down. Is Trump faking it? So that we, so that he can pretend to have recovered and thus prove the virus isn't dangerous. Maybe he's floating the story in order to divert attention away from his tax scandal, or his chaotic debate performance, or maybe a deep state uh, deliberately infected Trump to undercut his reelection campaign, or 
The White House is using this as an excuse to get out of the next debate. So many exciting possibilities. This is Vox, people. This is coming from Vox. How does, how silly is this? Uh, so you're going to have a string of comp conspiracy theories. Uh, which side they land on, it doesn't matter. It, it's going to be whatever ends up being the most advantageous, honestly, as the, the days and weeks go by. That is going to be the story. But in honesty, what I'm seeing here is that the media is for better or for, it, it does not matter uh, what they're reporting on. They're reporting on Trump consistently every time uh, that that's how it is. They're reporting on Trump. Every scandal that has ever come out uh, during any election, any October surprise, uh, anything that comes out, uh, Trump finds a way to get the media talking about Trump and exclusively about Trump. Uh, there's no denying that. I have not heard a word about Biden. Uh, all I've seen is that Biden doesn't dare run negative ads or something. Or, you know, he's trying to figure out how to take the high road in all of this, uh, but still run for political office. Uh, if this was done on purpose, then I guess that's pretty genius. I don't believe it was. I believe that the media are so obsessed with finding fault in literally anything that they will go to these kinds of lengths to find anything. And therefore, uh, you know, all the attention's on Trump. Uh, a further example here is CNN. They could be spending those hours of uh, TV time focused on the candidate that they want to win. But instead, they're watching Donald Trump walk up a flight of stairs, take his mask off so they can, uh, you know, clutch their pearls, uh, all this kind of stuff. It really... What I'm pointing out here is just how the media is handling it. Uh, he gets attention for literally everything he does. Of course he wants it. He's running for president. But the media is all too willing uh, to hand it over. Here's just one example. But this is obviously here it's gonna come. Here a, we go. a, a very different... Takes it off. ...an incorrect message. And you see him here. Um, he takes it off, and he's getting ready for his pictures. The flags flank him. Right, Caitlin, this is what he did. This is the moment. This is what he produced it for. He wants the image to be. This is what he produced it for. I'm strong. This virus is nothing. His tweet today, feeling better than I did 20 years ago. Don't be afraid of COVID. Don't let it dominate your life. Don't be afraid. There he is. This is the image he wants. Yep. And uh, it is the image he wants. It's the image that you're giving because now you're being an antagonist <laughs> to a man that's trying to get healthy. That's how this looks. To regular people it doesn't look like oh my goodness how shameful he's not wearing a mask you're getting too sucked into the the weird internet videos you're you're high on your own supply of you going around recording people not wearing masks in public so you can shame them the general public is much more understanding uh of mask wearing you know <clears throat> he's standing who knows how many feet apart from anybody uh, at, at the moment, I'm not going to, you know, Trump, whatever he does, he does what he's going to do as far as masks are concerned. Uh, but the, the narrative that you're painting, the media narrative here, the story you're telling is that here's a man trying to overcome COVID. The thing that has been plaguing the world for the past several months and you're mocking it. That's the perception. Uh, and if perception is reality, uh, I mean, the, the, you, it's no question as to how the, the election is going to go going forward. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments below. I know that this was a bit of a political video. I'm making comics, uh, but I don't know. You guys seem interested in those kinds of videos. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make them here and there. Uh, so appreciate your support. I'm going to refresh this. We're going to do it. Uh, we're almost at 70K, which is the next stretch goal. Hey, we picked up another backer. Appreciate you all for your support. Less than $500 away from hitting 70K. And we'll just keep on, on, on going up and uh, making a great book. So thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video.